welcome back to movementprofessional.com. So today we're gonna to take a look at standing hip cars or controlled articular rotations. So I'm gonna hold on to something uh, just to give me some balance here because I'm gonna to have to be on one leg as I go through this motion. So what we're gonna look at is basically making a, a hip circle, but we're gonna do this in a manner that we're trying to separate out motion from the hip, from the surrounding joints like the spine uh, and the pelvis. So we're going to anchor ourselves here, I'm gonna be standing on my right leg and I'm gonna move with my left. So the first motion would be to march and create hip flexion. So as I do that, I don't wanna lean away. I wanna feel like my right leg is reaching down through the ground, the crown of my head's reaching up through the ceiling. I can make a fist with the left just to irradiate tension through the body. And I'm trying to drive this knee straight up towards the same side eye. Common compensation is to have the foot come inside the knee. So I really wanna keep the ankle right under the knee as much as I can. And when I run out of room here, now I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna just bring my knee out, bring my whole leg out. Try not to lean too much, stay active through my right leg until I run into a barrier where I'm gonna feel like my outer glute. I might even feel like I'm gonna spasm a little bit here. So this is moving into more external rotation and then I'm going to lead with my heel as I roll my hip in and that's gonna take me to extension where I will move back. So I still want to feel like I'm as upright as possible. It's very normal to want to lean here and just feel my, my glute squeeze. So most of us don't have a lot of hip extension, myself included. So if the knee's way back here, that means the pelvis is way forward. So you're really going to get to the point where maybe the knee is in line with the other knee and you should feel very active in the glute here. Heel is reaching back, going as far as you can through there. And then I'm going to come back into this march to get hip flexion. So it's flexion, I move the knee out. When I run out of room here, I move the heel out and kick back, kick back, keep reaching back till I feel like my glute is engaged and my knees come towards each other. And then I bring it all back forward. So that would be one direction. The other direction would be, I start by going backward into extension. I feel this glute engage. I'm gonna lead with my heel out into internal rotation. And then I'm gonna let my knee follow into external rotation here with an abduction open and then I'm going to bring it back to flexion repeat so I kick back into extension I lead with the heel I let the knee follow and then I bring it back into flexion all right so that should be working both sides quite a bit you know you're doing this well if you feel your abs working a lot and then you feel the, the muscles around your hips working a lot if you're able to move really fast, you're probably not doing it without a lot of compensation there. So take your time, no more than five reps each side typically. And if, if five reps each side doesn't feel challenging, then slow down. You want to make five reps hard. Three reps each side is usually going to be enough. Hopefully that was useful. If you have any questions, you can go to movementprofessional.com. I'll see you next time.